She put the recorder on, so I guess she could sing it, and then she can hear it. Okay, who's that? It's Kathy from St. Louis. Oh. Hi, Grandma. Hello, honey. <laughs> and I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look back and see what type of song it was, because I've been deciphering how many different songs Kiowas have. Even our cedar has its own special song. We even have rain songs. We have a song for everything. And a rain chasing song. And every everything, the cedar, the sage, they all have a song. And Melody, are you back? Anyway, this song is a it's a man and he's hunting for his horses and he's describing the colors in old, old Kiowa. Now we say also for gray or stuff like this, but it's a Adam Yado, Adam Yado, yeah, hey, hey, sing on up, oh, yeah, Adam. Pa away, good old dog, go. Pa away, do dog, go. Oh, say yo, pan sing ya, pa da da ya, hey, hey. And it's describing the horses in like the part that was spotted, spotted in Pa away, good old dog, three red ones. Three tan ones and pan sengai. That's seven. A potado that were spotted. And it's a man just sitting there to himself saying he's tired because he's been hunting for his horses. They sing for everything. Kai was. Black Bear boasts, and I quote him all the time, the artist. He said, you give a Kiowa a story, and he'll make a song. Mm. I thought that was so pretty. I quote, you get your own gift. Oh, that was pretty. You are welcome. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> well, Melody, I, it. she's driving right now, I think. She had to go yeah. get you kind know, of pictures. Hega honey boomer. Hega hayala cope to ya. Hega honey get again. Oh. Oh. And mama. I keep up with y'all through through uh, this machine though. I said, I just sit home, but I'm feeling better now that I see the little children going to school. Huh. And I'm on a boycott because they're trying to put my two-year-old baby in some kind of trial school. I said, if y'all send him, I'm not going to talk to y'all for <laughs> He's the baby. Aww. He, he got inducted into the Oklahoma Society this summer. I seen that. That's cute. He's just <laughs> cute. He, he, you have to make that walk around there after you get uh, tagged. Oh, and he was he was dressed. Uh, we done it just the way because I'm not gonna be here. We're, none of us are gonna be here forever. But I want him to be ready. My nephew came out. His name is uh, Michael Tonka Mace. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. little boy. Yeah, what's a uh, uh, pretty song? Oh, James Jim's. His name is Jim. Yeah, Jim Pushing Bear. Oh, dang. Now, the next thing is to take his great, great, great grandpa's song and then we'll be fixed. 
But he's got to find a partner. He's just, a, he's still by himself. Trying to do that. So in the future, somebody might, might say, who is your grandma or where'd you come from? He can answer because he has his name. Oh. It's just me and my own simple mind, but I want to take care of things. Uh, cool. You back, my lady? No, I'm getting out of Are you back? Honey, she had something to do, but Dane's here. Dane was supposed to take over for a minute. She had to go get pictures taken at seven. Can you hear me? Oh. oh. Okay. Um, I think this is okay. I had to find the charger for my charger for my uh. I think this is working. This isn't the real charger, but it looks like it's charging. So just so I don't cut out on y'all whenever we're here. Okay. Um, so uh let me see. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Now I'm now I'm used to uh I can swallow though. <laughs> people are asking to come in, so I, I I'm, I'm not used to doing that. Okay. Um, so I, and y'all haven't started all, all the way already, right? Honey. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Grandma Dorothy, can you get us started with the opening prayer? Oh. Doggy. I hope I don't. Honey, I don't need to wake up. I don't and both don't the the tide only. When they get sun again, yeah, go a kick over. They go eight day, eight day highest to abba. The tide only ink. I'm all good or Oh, you go be go to tide or the call on time. A good time. I go yen high get up. They yen high get up. On the good side, though, they can yen high get a bully dog at all. I hold it, but hog the tide of the ink on the eight armor. Do good, but your coy go. On the get armor, the big tide of the get gum. On they get high go. The tide of the good tie get the hundred get to get. I hold it, but I don't. I eat compadre. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. uh, so today what we're going to do is um, we're probably going to send some of the people in there to start practicing. So we'll have to find out um, what pieces that people have to do for this level one and level two. Kind of pair or triple off some of the candidates together. Uh, because as everybody knows that uh, you're training to be teachers, so one of those things is kind of learn how to teach by kind of helping one another. So although I'm going to stay in here with and kind of get things sorted out with uh, the board um, and kind of mm -hmm. what we're expecting for this week and kind of lay it out for them, um, we are meeting in... Uh, district seven office um at the very same time for everybody at the district seven office that enrollment's going to be there at the same time so um we're going to be using warren's office because he's not going to be there for the main meeting room and it's pretty big so everybody else that are kind of practicing outside um um you know there's going to be enough chairs and rooms for that too because they're mainly just doing enrollment stuff so they're uh, from what i knew 
from what I know, I know it's going to be if you don't have a new Kiowa ID, it's probably a good time to go in and get it if you can. If you have your former Kiowa ID, that should be enough to kind of get you in there. So again, raw enrollment is going to be there. So I'm probably going to knock that out of the way too uh, while they're there. Is I might step aside for a second and take that picture just so I can get that new that ID. And it is, as far as I understand, it is kind of as a real ID. So just letting you know, enrollment's going to be there at the same time. So even if you just go there and you just go there to practice or go there to help, mm -hmm. um, uh, you can kind of knock out several things at once regarding the tribe. So that's a good thing. And, and we almost almost had to move it somewhere else. And then uh, they said still keep, they said we could keep the space and we just used the other room. And I, then I thought, well, that's a good time for people to be coming in. Uh, and getting some of the other stuff with enrollment. I think something they said something about feathers too, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. Um, but I'm going to go in at about 9.30. I'm going to help them move some stuff around in there so we can get kind of set up for our part as the interviews. If we do have a laptop or anything that you need to work on, you know, some of the other stuff, you can go in there and work on that. You can practice you know, get some of this other those other pieces of the credentialing out of the way. So if you haven't done the grammar part, you know, you can do that. And I think last time that Nelson um, came up, he didn't do the interview part. He actually did the kinship portion. So we didn't even do, we um, even if you come up there just to do one of the other portions, you know, you're still able to uh, do any of the other portions as well. But uh, with the interviews, just as long as we get through all, as many interviews as we can, there is going to be a little bit of change to it. So if you are level one, or I mean, if you have not gotten your level one status, you can do it the conversational way, like you practice, or you're going to, we're about to get that option where you, all you're doing is translating the conversation. The conversations will be ready when we get in there. So um, that I'll, I'll explain that more to the board in a second. But uh, there's two ways we're going to do this. I think most people are ready for the conversational part, um, though. Um, so does anybody have any questions before I start splitting up the practicing rooms and things like that? It's probably a lot of questions from some of the people that are here. Okay, so what's going to be on level two? Um, as far as the interview is going, uh, anybody who tried for the level one is going to be very similar now. So the level two is you basically come in and do the interview. Uh, the only thing that you would have to do maybe is initiate more conversation. If you did that last time, that's really all you have to do again for the level two. So the level two for the conversational part, the interview, you just uh, initiate a little bit more conversation. <clears throat> so we may have some people doing that. So the board will still have to, will still have a, uh, will still have sheets where you're actually asking them the questions for any level two people that are going in there uh, for all level ones. Um, you, you can still kind of get that by two and it just depends on uh, how well you do on that. So if, you, if you're just used to the Kiowa to Kiowa where we ask Kiowa, a question in Kiowa and you answer in Kiowa, you can still do that as a level one and still get a level one status. I, th I think the more questions you ask us back, the, the closer you get to that level two status. So, um, so there are some changes that are about to happen. And by December, all the level ones will be doing the English or Kiowa to English translation. So say for instance, uh, the conversational set is how da, how da. So are you well? Yes, I am well. That's all you got to tell us for level one. That's what that's the level one, uh, specifically once we start December. But we will go ahead and add that, and try that out this time if anybody wants to do it that way. And what that does, it just lets us know that you do understand what's being said, and. That was brought up in one of our last meetings, and luckily, that's what's happening in Kiowa One right now at the, at the at OU anyway. 
and it is working. It's getting people into that conversation, those conversational sets a little bit faster. And it's taking a little bit of pressure off the shoulders of, of some of the students. So I'm sure it's going to be the same with the uh, same with this program. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's level one for the conversation. Le or level level two for the conversation and level one. Level two, when it comes to kinship, uh, the level one, all you're doing is saying which family member we are, uh, we're talking about. So I list out the names of those family members. I give you about three terms and you got to tell me who, which family member I'm talking about. So if I say, and so as long as you say father or dad or something to that effect, then um, then you get it right for level one. Now, on the flip side, level two for kinship, now it's really specific, and you can see it in the study stack. If you've gotten study stack and looked at those, um, this, on study stack, it has an opposite way for level two. It's really specific. So say, for instance, uh, the term is, this time we say it in English, and you say it in Kiowa, and we say you're... Uh, your brother all the men in here would say Bobby," and all the women in here would say Aton. so we're making it apply to you as if somebody's saying it um you're saying it to your own gender so um so when we say it make it apply to your gender because it's not until probably level three-ish type stuff that You'll have to know the other set for for males and females. But anyway, uh, it's just a one-term thing. You would just have to say the term specifically for your brother, which does change for both of us. I'll give you an easier one. Uh, my grandpa. So you got to translate my grandpa, and you got to have that my in there. So you could say nakongi, and nakongi is my grandfather. It works for both, both genders. So... Um, uh, that's all you have to say. So you don't have to say the other stuff. You just have to say that one term. It's just that you have to say that term. And, you know, we'll kind of let you know that it's not quite right if you say con for my grandpa. Well, that's actually calling to him. So we could probably just tell you um, that's calling to your grandfather. And so you ha you might have another chance to go ahead and say the correct mm -hmm. term. Uh, but we'll let, you, we'll let you know which ones you're saying, especially if it doesn't turn out <laughs> to be the correct one so it's a little bit more in depth and it's really specific versus level one where we're saying a bunch of terms and you say them in english we're only saying one term in kiowa <laughs> level two one term in kiowa and you translate it into kiowa so english to kiowa so we just flip it around and we're more specific uh with the grammar same thing it's the it's the reverse, the grammar for level one. The short sentences that we use are Kiowa to English. So your answer is in English. So it's a little bit easier. So if I said, I saw the dog, Segun Gabon, I saw the dog. <laughs> level two will give you the phrase, um, it's a flower. Um, but we're going to reverse it around and we'll say something like, I don't know, give me the two shoes. Specifically, give me two shoes. Two shoes you give me, you know, we'll switch it around. As long as you know there's two shoes and you're, you're requesting them to be given to you. Now you got to say the Kiowa version. The Kiowa version of that would be, do de neon. So you're specifically calling out what it is you want. And neon means give the two to me. So... Um, that's the grammar part. It just reverses. Now you're saying the Kiowa instead of the English. So that's the difference there between level one and level two is you're actually saying the Kiowa in there, <laughs> which is why we're putting the, the conversation. We're letting that go in that direction. Um, with uh, level one pronunciation, you just have to go in and download the uh, download the pronunciation. 
PowerPoint that has those words in there and you just revoice those PowerPoints. Now, if you've had trouble with it from the past all the way up to now, um, hopefully we'll have enough laptops there that, you know, one of us or maybe one of the uh, the one of the teacher credential uh, candidates uh, may be able to help you with that. So you can probably get the pronunciation done there, at least for level one. Level two is a little bit more is like we got we have a set of stories and on those stories, you got to pick two short stories or one long story and you got to read those out. And I would I would advise to read them several times and listen to yourself. It's more of a listening to yourself type activity and getting better at getting into the flow of how Kiowa sounds. So you'll have things written out for you and you can listen how the speakers on there. There's actually recordings on there of the speakers telling that story. But um, the flow of your uh, voice and how you're saying things, uh, we're kind of picking for level two, we're kind of picking out which sounds are you missing? Say, for instance, the the blended D. Are you saying that blended D sound, that TD sound? Or are you saying a T apostrophe sound? So if it says T, are you saying like uh, Tode or something like that? And not saying Tode. Tode or Tode, you know, they're two different pronunciations. So if something that, that, uh, keeps repeating like that, you know, we'll let you know. So all we're doing is listening to those, <laughs> listen to how the flow of it, but mostly for level two, listen to make sure your vowels and your consonants sound okay. Um, but the more you listen to it, the better your flow is going to get, and you'll get used to kind of having to listen to yourself. I think the only way to get used to a tonal language like Kiowa, if you're learning it from English, uh, and English was your first language, is you have to get used to your own voice and learn how to change the flow of that. So that's the level two is reading the stories versus level one is just using that PowerPoint and revoicing the PowerPoint. So it's a little bit easier. Uh, that level one stuff is more like our, our classes up here. And level two does have stuff that's in our classes up here at OU, but then it has other stuff like reading those stories that we don't actually do as much in our classes here just so just because of time the time limit we have so um that's just a description of the level two because that was one of the questions i had here was what will be on level two so uh, just don't forget there's four parts to it the the main part that we get together on these saturday or on these uh credentialing days where all the board is there is mostly for the interview but it doesn't mean that you can't work on the other stuff and we can't help you out with the other stuff. If you got any questions on that and you want to be in person or if, you ha if you're having problems tech-wise, um, then we can help you out with that too. Say, for instance, some of the stuff that's on those PowerPoints where you got to revoice it. If you just have no access to anything, then we could probably knock that. And definitely for a level one, we can knock that one out within about 15 minutes or so we just have you go on there and record and if it didn't sound like the first time you'll have one of us there to help you with pronunciation so it ensures that you actually get those uh recordings and they sound good so um when you have five of us there uh you know you can come to each one of us or you can come to one of us and start recording those and you can ask us straight if we if it sounds okay and then if it sounds okay then uh then we can just correct it right there and you don't have to wait on you don't have to wait on feedback for it you can just get it done there so um i think that's it and so i just wanted to make a comparison between level one of those four areas and then a level two of those four areas If you've taken the class before, some of that stuff is real similar to what you had to do. Although there are some differences. We didn't learn family terms in those classes, at least not the current ones, because we just didn't have enough time. And then we didn't ex exactly get to around to reading stories, at least for Kyle 1 and 2, we didn't get around to reading stories. I'm trying to get into the Google Docs. Okay, uh, let me go. Do you need access? Ask for ask. Okay, see, let me in there. 
Uh, let me get there. Let me get whoever needs to. I, I know there was one last week. I know that. Let's see. Cody's on here. Um, I believe that paper that you gave me dropped out and whenever I was taking it out. So uh, if uh, Cody, if you just direct message me your uh, email again, I can add you if I didn't already do it before I left because I don't think I did. I sent a request. This is Kathy. Okay. Okay. I remember. Uh, I remember. Uh, she also had one too. I just saw her name on there. So, okay. And your request for. Let me see. Okay. Yes. Uh, you should be able to get on it now. And let me go ahead. And add code to it. That way you see yep. some of the stuff that's on there. And there is going to be a kind of mini text out this semester. I'm actually making one, uh, you know, this week as we as we go through stuff. Um, so it'll be kind of a little addition to what uh, to what uh, Melody has been working on. So. Uh, it should help things out. In fact, we could probably combine some stuff when we when we kind of move along with that. So let me get to the drive. And let me know if you have access to it. Is that, uh, uh, is that Kathy? Yeah. Huh. Okay. I'm just trying to navigate it again. Okay. Oh, okay, I've got level two. Read. Okay, yeah. anybody else that needs to be shared on that, just let me know. You can put your email down in the... Okay, Cody, you should be able to get in there now. So just check your Gmail, and then you can just... Then you should be able to do it. And then what I'll probably do is those in here ha have accessed it before and have done it before. We'll kind of put you all into different rooms. I'll have I'll have them open. There's not going to be very many rooms this today. Unless there's a request to actually practice on things. So that way there's more people to kind of help each other. So anybody who is a level one or getting close to finishing their level two, um, if you can kind of help people today on this one, going to kind of put some of the teaching into y'all's hands so get a little bit of practice in those rooms and then us who are on the board we're going to go ahead and stay in here so you can come out anytime you want to so we'll almost have like a yeah, kind of a mini board meeting out here but not uh, just to go over what we're going to do this weekend um let me go ahead Does anybody want to do kinship? Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the rooms and then I'm going to go ahead and put everybody that's not a board member in the discussion room and then after that then you can decide whether you want to move to uh other rooms or not but you should be able to okay uh carolyn it's it's ma it's mainly just the uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and see if you're on there let's see these are sorry i'm answering the direct messages right now so let's see <laughs> Okay, Carolyn, if you haven't, didn't have access to it, then the email should be there now. It might be the same stuff that you've already had. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead 
And let's see. I'll put everybody who's not a, a board member into the discussion room. And then you can move around rooms wherever you want, and you can come out and leave those rooms wherever you want to. And different people will be at different levels. If we need more rooms, we could probably add more rooms uh, to that. And then people can talk about how they study, because I think that's a good thing to do, too, is when the classes, when they get together and they discuss, this is how I study, this is how I looked at it, uh, then that's also a good practice for teaching whenever you're telling people how you do stuff and how you study as opposed to what's the materials there. Or if you've developed anything that's uh, outside the material, you know, it's always a good time to kind of uh, share with that. So I'm going to go ahead and press to open all rooms. Again, you can come out at any time and ask the board any questions or ask any questions where you're confused at. And we're just going to quickly discuss uh, the setup for this weekend. So, that should open for discussion room. And as, as most people go into there, I don't know if everybody is on here, but we got five people in here, so we can just um, not everybody's going to be able to go in there. Some people are probably away from the computer. What, what, um, okay. What was the practice, which it was, was practice room one and which one was, what was uh, Discussion. Was so everybody is, everybody who was on the board, I, uh, I just, uh, press join. But it's the discussion room. And from the discussion room, you can move to the practice rooms if you want. Yeah. I, I, so what was practice one and which one was practice two? What were we doing? Uh, that's up to y'all. So once y'all get in that uh, room, y'all can kind of get organized in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Nobody's in there. <laughs> no, they're Tim, all in discussion room. I Tim, said what do you want to do? Did you say kinship? What did you want to practice on? Uh, Tim's already in there. Oh, it says. So, yeah, you have to go there. into the room to see it. So everybody who's oh. out here, you have to actually go into the room to see it. Some people got the notices for it and some people didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, because I'm looking at it, it doesn't say anybody's in. It says everybody's in discussion room. That's yeah, okay. everybody's in discussion because that's where I sent everybody. Okay. That's where I have we're having all of y'all group in there so you can figure out who's doing what. And then you can separate from there after that. I'm going to move right over there. Okay. Hopefully she's in there. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? I know Melody is on the road and she's, uh, and she's uh, in her own meeting. Okay. So, although this is an official um, meeting, um, I was going to, I don't know if uh, y'all got a call or anything from the, <clears throat> from Lily, uh, but uh, they put in for us to have a meeting instead of every month, it's every other month. So there's only going to be uh, a meeting every other month now, from now on for at least for this year. So uh, we won't be getting the, uh, the paid check for for the meetings until um, I guess every other month. So we could probably meet this month or in the middle of next month is when we can actually meet. So uh, uh, hold on, let me turn this out real quick. I, I missed what you said. Where are we meeting Saturday? Do I have to come to Norman? Oh, it's, it's District 7, yeah. It's the District 7 office. Now, if you want to, we can set you up on Zoom. You know, we got the thing. If it's... Yeah, Lin Linda will drive me. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm going to show up there at 9.30 to get everything set up. And it starts from 10 to 2, and it just depends on who all comes in. We'll do it like we did last time. Yeah. Uh, last year. 
So uh, yeah, that's I pretty get, much the. I get me called up. Where we meet. Oh at? yeah, at the uh, District Seven office. District Seven office. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so, then, so excuse me, Dane. So, our meeting for for June, we won't be compensated for that, right? Is that what no? We'll said? be compensated for June. Oh, okay, but in not fact, for I think I already got my check for that. Oh, when'd you get that? Uh, I think I opened it yesterday. I think it was for June. Oh, okay. Beta, when? Uh, let me go check it. I think I left it. <laughs> I get done with uh, them. Dorothy, did you get yours in July? Did you get a check in July? No. You didn't get one in July? The first part of July? The first part of July was for June, I think. And I have yeah. not received anything for July. Oh, that's yeah. what I meant. I meant for June, but we got it in July. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got one that's like uh, dated 6-30-2023. So that one was for June then? Yeah. But you just got it just now? No, I've had it. Oh. oh I just haven't <laughs> cashed it yet. It's been sitting on my desk. I need to cash it. Wow, boy. <laughs> they, what happened for, for me, they lost mine somewhere and they had to resubmit. Yeah. The June meeting, so they resubmitted the whole thing for me, so I was just wondering. They sure can lose other people's money. <laughs> okay, uh, Nelson, can you hear me? Oh, Nelson's coming in, so I just did that to me for five years. <laughs> uh, Nelson, can you hear me? Oh, okay. So I sent everybody to the discussion room. Uh, we're catching up on what, what we're going to do on Saturday. So everybody's going to be in there. They're going to talk about where they're, what they need to practice on, and then they'll go to the rooms themselves. Um, so some of the people are away from their computers right now. So you see some of us in here, but all the board members are in here. So that's kind of where I sent everybody. But if you have any questions, just come back out. Uh, I think you sent me a message of, of if I got your, uh, what was it again? Let me go ahead and check. So. Mm. Oh, yeah, your story. I do got your story, Nelson. Okay. Just letting you know that because uh, I knew you said that they sent you were there to kind of reminding me. So I'm just going to send you to that breakout room. I bet you can come out anytime if you or do you got any questions before I put you in there? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Well, when you can just practice with whoever you want to, uh, any questions that you have, I don't know what they're discussing in there, but once we get done with this, um, then I'll check in there and I'll see if I can bring people out that have any other questions. Okay. Sorry, Nelson, I meant to send you, and I ended up sending myself there. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so on uh, Saturday for the board, um, I do got two setups for y'all. One is going to be just a Kiowa conversation. So um, we'll have a question for you, for y'all, and y'all and. Uh, we'll probably have only two of us participating in that if people decide to do that. Um, and that's the Kiowa to English. So if they do the Kiowa to English, that'll be a level one. Um, 
So I'll give you a conversation uh, of questions and you just ask the other, whoever's going to answer. So we might put uh, Grandma and Miss Harriger together and one of them will have a question, the other one will answer. We'll go ahead and leave the answer pretty open. Um, they'll have to translate that question and they'll try to translate as much of that answer as possible. Uh, if it's a simple answer, they just have to translate that. But it's going to be, uh, y'all have questions where you ask, where you're just asking the other and you can answer it however you want to. So all they're going to do is translate what you're saying. So if anybody decides to do it that way, we'll get our first taste of what that's like. We need to probably do it as early as possible so we know what it feels like. We may even just do a practice run and have a level two do it if we don't have any of our level ones go through and, uh, and do that portion. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and listen to the two level ones and make sure that they do fit what's um, being given and the level twos. Um, I will have the I will have the evaluation sheets for those people that we had last time. That way we can just tell them um, tell them that day um, how you felt about it. And if you want to listen to the recording again, I will bring those recordings with me too. Um, so just in case you want to hear Tim's or you want to hear uh, Cody's uh, session again. But if you already kind of ha know how you feel about it, you can just fill out the form if you are if you already know how how you uh, how you want to grade them. So but that's just a case you forgot how they did on it. I, I do have the recordings for this so we can listen to those again, too, if you wanted to. Um, so there'll be two different. There'll be two different ways. Maybe some of those level ones will try be trying to do the level two style. And if they do the level two style, then as long as they hit all those marks on the level two, which they're asking us questions back a little bit too, then you can put them as a level two. You can rate them that. The questions are a little bit easier to navigate through this time. Um, in the end, there's really only one main box that really matters, and that's what you rate them. The other ones are just for feedback. So usually I like to put the feedback in there just to, so they know what to practice for if they do it again or if they um, or if they go to the next level. They'll know what they need to work on. So I would still fill out the other stuff, but in the end, it's the rating that you give them at the end is is uh is uh what what they're gonna get. In the case, it doesn't always have to be unanimous as long as it's a majority. Majority feel like they're supposed to be at level. That's when we'll put it up to that level. But when they see those other ones, they'll know why, what we feel like they need to work on. So uh, the feedback is always good. If you feel like something could be improved, go ahead and put it, even if it's just a slight, small, uh, just a small thing. Um, go ahead and put it on there if you can. Because it's only going to help them, even if they pass it. If they pass it and you still feel like, okay, oh, yeah, they could work on this, but I still think they're a level two, then uh, go ahead and put whatever feedback you want on there. It's, it's, uh, for me, that's always helpful. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, do you all have any questions about what how we're going to do it on, uh, how we're going to do this on Saturday? It's going to be... It's going to resemble what we've done, but if people want to do that kind of English, we'll get an idea of how that is as we go through it. And if not, I'm going to grab one of those level two people and pull them through. And we also might um, we also might grab one of these level two people to come in and help us with that level one. And... Um, you know, get the experience of what that's like to do the evaluations. And this will be good practice for them. Might as well get them earlier than later. I have a question. On day. Uh, we said originally that somewhere that the time limit, there's a time limit of 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's going to, that's in the, um, Oh, this is my other computer. I switched computers out, but uh, I do have that in the evaluation now. Yeah, uh, because uh, it sounds like I might go over 20 minutes. I mean, it just depends on what's going on, but 
<clears throat> that's what I'm, I'm concerned about that we will do that in 20 minutes yeah is that is that realistic or not yeah i think 20 minutes is, is really realistic because it it gives them enough time to get through the get through the piece and whenever i touch that once i touch the recording they know it's it's uh happening and then anything else we say in between um is okay because they got they got more than enough time to get through that conversation and i think that conversation is actually shorter if you know about the same if not maybe just slightly shorter than what we do in the mm -hmm. classes at the ou and at ou they only get 10 minutes so what, hap what happens is we might have extra banter in there and they might do other stuff. So we're allowing them that extra time because unlike the classes, the classes we kind of have to get through fast. Here we don't have to. We can give them some time to ask to, to ask them stuff back. So uh, 20 minutes is realistic. They can get through it in 20 minutes. Oh, and then I feel like uh, I feel like they do probably because I don't really know I mean, I would like to see the question. I mean, what were the paper sheet that we're going to have? So what I'm saying is, I want to. I'll probably show up earlier than ten o'clock. Okay, I'll so be there early. Talk, so I can glance at whatever. I mean, they'll help me. Okay. This is just like, I mean, I'm not ever comfortable with Zoom when it comes to this. But anyway. Okay. So. Okay. I'll pull it off my computer because I got it on my other one. I had to switch computers out because uh, that one started acting so, up. Well, I mean, I'll scan whatever we have, you know, so that'll help me before, you know, because my brain is very, very slow. Okay. I forget. So anyway, that's, that's what I'm, so I'll just show up a little early, just enough to glance and see what, what's going on. Okay. All right. And I will have to leave early. So okay. you're saying you're going to pull in uh, level two people that would help when it comes yeah. to evaluation. But if I, there's another way I was thinking, if it's recorded, the part that I miss, I could listen at okay. another time. Yeah, if there's level I two people. I won't be there till two o'clock. I'll probably, I'll probably be there just an hour. Okay, if there's any level two people in there, we'll just have them do the, instead of evaluating your place, if you still want to do the evaluations, we'll just have them do questions in your place. And then, okay. then we could we could just re-listen to the recording and then you can go okay. through from there. Oh, Oh, okay. Okay, and then anything else? Any other questions? Okay, I'm going to jump back in that room and ask if anyone wants to come back out and ask y'all some questions and work on some stuff out here. So this may take about a minute or two. So uh, for the time being, you can be free to talk about what y'all want to. And I'm going to try to get some of them out if, they, if, they, if I can. So I'll be right back. Melody, anybody there? Oh, the telescope. There's nobody here. I'm with you. <laughs> <This is Melbourne. laughs> I'm with you. 
I said, oh, but they tell it though, but I'm just staring at myself. <laughs> And then yeah, boy, they, but my my memory from a uh, eighty years ago is just as fluent. But I can come back here and forget what I, what I came to get sometime. So we're all different, I guess. Honey, I poured it when I'm gonna pick up something or I'll leave. I'll leave things undone and. I think of it later, but that's just a part of me. And but my memory is still as good, I think, as I can remember it. Today, day I'll think of a name or something that'll pop in my head. A new Kaiba word that's so old. You just wonder how you remember things like that. The most important, the most enjoyable thing I have from this is deciphering old names and wondering what family that was. So many you can trace. Uh, so much. Oh, my oh. 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 While we're waiting, um, um, I was ask, I was asked a question uh, about a song. You know, whenever uh, somebody gets ready to go up and starts preaching, they always uh -huh. sing. The that song, it's only about three verses. Yeah. Um, the the words on those, I, I always, well, you hear different things from different people when they sing it. Uh -huh. And I was, I was wanting to know the co correct wording on that because I, I hear different stuff. And on your high, that's what's why I'm asking. I could, uh, can you sing it? Um, well, that's the problem is, is I don't know the words because I always hear different stuff, but I can hum the tune. Um, yeah, I give can, us the I, melody. You want me to do it now? Yeah, give me the melody. Oh. Okay, um, it goes. Dog, uh, yeah, dog, yeah, toy, Dog at dog at toy bottom. Dog at dog at toy, yeah. Oh boy, dog. Okay, uh, yeah, that's it. Can you, uh, are yeah. they saying bottom? <clears throat> dog at dog at toy bottom. O M, I <laughs> see, you know, it emphasize. Dog at dog at toy bad um. Dog at dog at toy yeah oh boy dog. Okay, honey, honey, um, honey, um, let's see. Ha, it's on bad dog at toy. A toy yeah oh boy dog. You oh, say toy, yeah. yeah toy yeah oh boy dog. And you say dog at thongia. Well, that's God's word. Boy, yeah, oh boy, though. It's by far the truth. Uh hot one at toy yeah. Honday. It's hot one at toy yeah. Oh toy but um dog at thong ya toy yeah oh boy dog. Uh, dog Atnogia is God's word, is oh. first, and it's true. Mm -hmm. Dog Atnogia, put it first. Dog Atnogia, God's word, is ahead by far. So uh, Nelson, uh, if that break it out, it's when she says first and ahead. That's the toy part. That she's 
Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's so a uh, hundred guitar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anytime. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, <laughs> I hope. I hope. Oh, God, my daughter, he can't come over. I'm saying my voice is getting like a, it's, well, I am an old woman, but <laughs> he can't come over. <clears throat> come on, people, let's still sing. <laughs> so it's dog, yeah, tongue, yeah, toy, yeah, toy, bot arm. Dog, arm. A bot on. Okay, ha. Huh. For so make for you or make do for you are ha huh, so ha. Huh. Yeah. Huh. So long get the yeah, oh boy. Ha, huh. huh, it's true or real. Uh -huh. Yep. True. Dog at don't get toy bot on. And bot is you, you all. All Plural, not yeah, just yeah, one, yeah. but so everybody. Toy bot on bot. Is that that's your uh what verb? Pronoun, yeah. Pronoun? Ever, yeah. whatever. Okay, you are. Oh, oh. Yeah, let me go. Yeah, while you're explaining, I'll, I'll do. I'll just type in the side while they will explain that to them. I would say yeah, bot on. It's just uh, there's a uh, two. Accounts and I've heard Nelson's grandfather sing many, many times in church meetings. It's the most beautiful, beautiful delivery. Always remember that. There was nobody more honorable looking than, than singing and talking than him. It's one of my one of my favorites. Your grandpa Nelson. Oh, Jack E. What's his name? It's kind of name. Oh. Um, since you said that, can I ask you what what that translate? Because I heard a couple translation, and and I'm not sure about that. Because he did uh, he didn't say anything. I would say it means oh yeah, like we say, e oh yeah. A new baby is a e pogia. Anything, you know, it's a new pogia. And I think he was, it pertained to, uh, how would you translate it, Dane, if you're Dolores? If you e pogia, he like the first man or pogia. Or first, I. How would y'all translate that? You know, because we refer to everything newborn as pogia, e pogia. That's a question. All of you kind of put in your ideas. So wouldn't you say that, Dan, Dolores, Marion, all of y'all? Yeah, I hear those words in there. What's the question? Would that be like fresh? What's the question? Yeah. yeah. Or, or like the first one or something like that. Oh, okay. yeah, Marty. It uh -huh. was. Yeah, like the first man there or something. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's in that it's song. In... Nelson, it's in that song, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Those songs. Yeah, yeah. I, I never heard him uh, uh, being called or answered to that because uh, whenever we got older, you know, uh, I think it was uh, um, uh, it was either uh, uh, oh, Grandpa Oscar, I believe, uh, gave him his name, his uh, uh, man name, and so that's what we always knew him by. So we never uh, really knew him by Paul yeah, Keith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Oscar's name was Taba A. Leonard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marty, yeah, it's Tab Big Smoke. Yeah, it's all we ever said. We never tried to de de describe it. It was, uh, I imagine every all of their names had a spiritual uh, background. But we always, you know, called him Big Smoke. 
and then Gus was my pa, and Harding Big Bull was on Gatoya. I like that. Lone, oh, lonely traveler, lone traveler. When he went on his war journeys, he'd be gone for years at a time. Big Bull. Zeke Goyet is Big Bo, but uh, they also called him um, Ongatoya. Those are pretty names. Oh. Um, and even George Mapuk's name was Maya Day. Standing high. All of a sudden, they'll just pop in my head. <laughs> Hearing the elders talk about mentioning their names in the old days, it's, it's, uh, I take it as kind of spiritual when I try to remember those names. I even, Judith, I even remembered uh, Mr. Salo. That's one of the best singers I ever heard, you know, a long time ago. It's, it's just different names you, yeah. And then, uh, Marion, I bet you're like that. Marion and I in a vis visit and we talk about names. We should do that at one session just to be and do the oh. translations from those oldest. Some of them are pretty, pretty names. Oh, yeah, this one's pretty open. I mean, uh, whatever questions people have, I'm just going to type it down in the meeting chat while you're talking about it. Yeah. Because it's yeah. more open. open. I love open that. <laughs> or the song, like, he asked for. Love to. We used to do that, Dane. Yeah. Oh. Last time was when they were making the tornado and it got away. You remember? They were making the tornado out of clay and it flew away. Or <laughs> it's that horse ran away. There's even a song to that. We have so many beautiful old stories that are going to get lost. I've got, some, I've got a copy of the, uh, it's some ledger, ledger drawings. And it's the ledger drawing of that story. And I have it in my office, but it's over there. If I move this, so yeah. this computer is kind of off. So if I move it, it's going to turn off. So I don't want to move it anywhere. But I got pictures of it. Somebody drew that horse. And that horse, it has, I can see it from over here. But it has and wings it's... and it has a tail. <laughs> yeah. And it got away and it said, you know, when all of a sudden the horse or the tornado started singing or something. Saw me. You'll need to do that. Pass. Teach it to your pastors. Uh, day. One day. Uh, one day I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, and they and Ducky Sean. I hope I go. I so hot. Um, like this Saturday, what time? What oh, time okay, yeah. Uh, 10 to 2. 10 to 2. Okay. Mm -hmm. How would you say that correctly? Um, <laughs> what was it? Uh, <laughs> Gawking, <laughs> y'all. But how would you actually say to to gawking, y'all? Go, and then you have to. <laughs> I might need help with this one. <laughs> I mean, I'm mean, like this this Saturday. What time? It, how would you say that? Oh yeah, ain't... yeah, Dalkey Sean. Dalkey Sean, y'all. Dalkey Sean, y'all. Talking. It's all they talk. Hey, I don't know. Anyway, then I've got the first part. <laughs> Kisa talk. Kisa talk. Oh, I think it's way what on. Is it? 
two, how do you say two? Ye get pie. Ye get pie. Did you say golf key bike all or something like that too? Yeah. Like we're starting then and then stopping it too. Yeah. Oh, see. But Tracy, golf key uh big all they thought. I would just say we're gonna meet at that time. Yeah, yeah. And then say that you know at two o'clock is but but yeah. You said it, ye. But yeah. I got the dog go. Ye. They say ye. Ye. Oh, they talk. Bite now. Bite. Oh, they talk. Right. That means when the <laughs> sun gets right here. If we're talking mm -hmm. about the time, you know they bite. Oh, they talk. No, oh, get pot, get the Is it get pot, get the yeah. pot, get the or something? Uh, like that. Yeah, and it, they're saying when the when the sun gets to that area, by toilet. Isn't it something that they knew that too? Yeah, when the sun gets. It makes sense now. By toilet. And then there was there was another thing and say. By ye, yeah. That's sundown. Mm -hmm. When it goes okay. down, by uh, ye, yeah. Get pot, they don't. Ain't no kegel, I don't get on me. Where the land is red, the Christians are gathering. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me see. I got a question to move to. Okay, I don't see anybody in room. I see somebody in room two. So let me go ahead. And put, it was Gigi was asking to go on the direct message to go into another room. So let's see if she can get in there. Okay, you should be able to. Let me see. By ye, yeah, it's sundown. South Beto, that's north. Toward the cold south is by Beto. Toward the hot country. Those are the fours. Uh, Dane. Oh. One day inside. Uh, when will you be ready to do credential for kinship or grammar? On level two, um, I can do it on uh, uh, I could really do it on any day if you want to. So today, since I got to since I got to run this, I'm kind of stuck in here. But um, but if you uh, if you contact me, we may be able to do it online on that day if you want to, even on Saturday if you don't have anything going on, or next uh, next Wednesday is fine. Yeah, probably next Wednesday, Saturday. I'd I bend. I do bending. Yeah, I can do it next Wednesday. Yeah, okay, you, you don't have to. You don't have to be there for for to do that part. Okay, then I'm gonna knock out the kinship and the hopefully the grammar. Oh. Uh, and then we did got a question from Cody. It said, "It's for, it's about the name Otdaw." Uh, it says, "Does anyone know what Otdaw means?" It is the name of Guy Ware on her grandma's side. Oh. So Guy Ware's name, Aunt Doll. Aim Aunt. Aim Aunt Doll. Aunt Doll. Aunt. Doll. <laughs> Sounds like someone crying. But how? Do, what? How is it used? Uh, that's. Pretty much what it says there. Um, let me go get that names book. I think uh, I, might... I know, but crybaby is an odd poodle. <laughs> when you cry about it, you know, isn't it there, Marty? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, oh, poor little girl. She likes to cry. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> and so poor is uh, uh oh. <laughs> It's okay if you call me Sopol, but don't call me same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and as a mama used to, it's her hardest insult to somebody, and it wasn't even bad. She'd say Sopol, ma, if somebody <laughs> was tearing it. <laughs> well, she was complaining. That doesn't hurt. It's just our woman. I was so poor, my lot. Let me see if I can find it, find a, uh, a version of it. Anywhere. But yeah, that was the name that it was on there. I've seen it before, too. I've seen it in the roles. I love this. I guess I might have to find somebody in the family to find find out if there if, if does it sound like there's like more to the name that was probably there. Now, uh, Dane. That it was, yeah. Uh, just for the record, so they'll know this is a a lullaby. It's a e old com dog. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. E old com. E old com dog. Yeah. That's the Wahoo songs and stuff. And art is crying. That's why I said that. Just to sound, that's what it sounds like. I art come. Sing them a song to quit crying. It's just plain E art come. Okay, and I'll go ahead and break it down. And that's what your sentence kind of sounded like. There we go. Yeah, so anybody who's looking in meeting chat, that's the, I put on some. Translations that literal translation I broke it apart, but what it really means when you put it all together. But it, what the and I have an E and then O T and come dog, E out come dog, and that's just a plain wahoo, wahoo, woo, woo, woo. No, no. All right. Any other translations or questions? Anything about that? Okay. You, you must tell me when you do. I just kind of. Yeah. For anybody who's on that had any questions, because I'm just looking on the chat room and some of the direct messages and some are. So sometimes I, I'm, sometimes it looks like I'm just talking out of nowhere and answering somebody out of nowhere. It's because usually they're in direct messages and so nobody else can see it except for me. But uh, okay. Now.
Okay, so I got a question about the meaning of, of something. So uh, the difference between saying something on on, like, uh, I don't know, eight on bottle on on, or eight on bottle, or eight on bottle on bon. I don't know if I'm saying that part right. Anyway, when they're making the sounds, I know there's different ways you can say that. If something's just on on, like gooey on on, isn't there somebody's name gooey on on? Or there's other ones, gooey on on. And gone on on, they, my great 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 grandmother. Oh, on on, yeah. And then, um, Marilyn, Marion and I were talking about a cook grandma. Her name was Ayanon. And how would y'all translate that, that Ayanon part? I was asking her that, <laughs> you know, Marion, you know? Uh, yeah, Ayanon, that means like you hear something above. Ayanon. Means like the noise. I and on. But that's but you're saying something on else. You're like saying gooey on on. You hear the sound of the wolf. Gooey on on. And so if you say I and on, I and on, it just means like the noise heard above because we sang it backwards. I is the above. That's where I heard it. I am. Oh. And if you're saying something else with on, like you said, gooey on on, you said, I think that's what you said, oh. or asking. Because I gooey on on, I hear a wolf. A wolf is making noise. It's not I anything believe. above. Uh, Dane, in that mm -hmm. 1900 family register, that uh, name she's talking about, mm -hmm. on, it's number 343. And it's written out there, but it doesn't have that translation. 343. And J.T. Goomba's mother, grandmother, they all called her Dombe all of her life. Dombe. And her real name was Ketai Dombegai. She ran in front of the chiefs. And yet it just said Dombe. So all her life, I thought the, the, the translation would be in front, Dombe. But it really was Ketai Dombegai. I'm going to go ahead and put that, uh, that what we're looking at, that's the Kiowa Family Register. I'm going to go ahead and link that into the chat for anybody yeah. who's wanting to. Maybe we'll get some questions out of that, just so you can see that. I think it's, it's definitely an important God, That's document. interesting. I'm going to spend all day reading that. <laughs> I know we talked about, like, between some of our sessions when we were meeting as a board, but I don't think everybody... I don't think outside of board, many people know about that. Should, should I show them that, what it looks like? Yeah, yeah, because okay. it's interesting. Okay. So on the names right here, I'm just going to show you all just because it'll bring up some good questions. And I did put this in the link for you all so that y'all that y'all do, uh, y'all can uh, look at a copy of this. But it's... Uh, all of my siblings would be on that list. My, my oldest sister was uh, Lawrence's, uh, well, the Lawrence knows that. They were born in the 19, I mean, 1896. And I was the youngest sister, and I was born in 1933. There's nine of us. Oh, that's pretty awesome. If you look at three, if you look at three forty one, 
I was looking at the name. Uh, um, Just like somewhere. It says yeah. the daughter of. Uh, oh. No Leave it on there so I can look at it all night. I There's see. no sound. There's Am no I on the right page? Jeez, Would that be three, Mopo? Three, four, or? Four, four. What's that? 343, wasn't it? Uh, 343. Yeah, I think this is the end. 335 is the end of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this grandma's own day. Are y'all looking at the right side or the left side? Looking at it all. That's pretty oh, okay. cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, they only okay. Woho, always it wasn't woho, you know, don't click on meat, woho, and it or buffalo oh. or something. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, for anybody who's looking at this, for the uh, if they haven't saw uh, uh, Parker's actual method, the you know the last version of it before he passed, this is the this is how it looks. So in the handwriting, that's his uh, that that's what it looked like that before he passed away. That was his the last version that he that he actually did. This was in uh, nineteen eighty four or something. In fact, I think he was going to put this all together, the, this particular uh, document. Uh, he was working on 50 different things at that time. Yeah. And he, of course, he had to do it on typewriter. <laughs> it's not easy. And white buffalo. Which, which number is it referring to? Is that white buffalo? Would that be Dohasin's son? I thought it would be pot eye. Uh, there is. There's somebody in here named. Uh, there's a pot eye, and then there's a pot eye in here. <laughs> Just like there's a gal gurute, and then there's a pa gurute. Two different people. Yeah. Red buffalo. It's the same. It's the same. It's red buffalo and it just spelled. But they're just two different oh, spellings. Good, okay. It's, it's so red good. buffalo. Uh -huh. Red buffalo and guru. 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 It's another word for buffalo. I'm going to take it up. One. There was somebody named in there Atona, and it means they came to fight. <laughs> when they're when they're coming in a group, Atona. It's the only way I could translate it. I wonder if that was Atone, you know, with part of it cut off. Amtona, when you're coming to fight somebody. Mm -hmm. Antona. Antona meant you're gonna go, you're gonna I go. came to whip you. <laughs> like with someone. No, Antona. Going to fight someone. <laughs> and I hate him something about a tree in it. No, that's a short version of I hate Thadel. Like you're telling yeah. something. That's what it. That's the. That's the word. But they could it down to. I hate it. I, I had a recording of my mother one time. I hate it. She said, "Pula," and I said, "What about the ones from the Apache?" And she said, "Honey," 
their name was Spoloy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Spoloy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Parker said. Huh? You know, my mother said that. You know, she said it's different. It's not, you know, with the. Yeah, one refers to a gray wolf, and the other one refers to a branch of say, a tree. A fashion, <laughs> little chief, or would it be? How do they pronounce it? Yeah, is it in here? You see it in this one? Hmm. Oh, this thing right here. John Little Chief, I remember him. Yeah, it should say cat die, Sean, right here. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So it's right there. You look. <coughs> I like boat, Tully. <laughs> How would you say that? <laughs> Little stomach, in it? Little boy. Little boy. Stomach boy. Belly boy. <laughs> um, this number is 368 or 369. And that is uh, Asa. And I'm just wondering, that's the same name as Esau, that person that called, what was his name? He was that, uh, I think he was a flute player and he was an artist. Esau. Spencer, Spencer, isn't it? Oh. Spencer, Esau. Spencer, Esau. Because Parker has it, Parker has the sound written, or the marks, phonetic marks. On three sixty nine for Asa, and looks like it's who a was a Cohen Tali Asa a cool. Um, I'm looking for three sixty nine. Um, the third, the last page at the very last page. last page. Yeah, it's the last. Page. Oh, and the one that we were. This one down here? Yeah, the very last page on here. It's at the bottom. Asa. Asa. 367. Asa. Like it doesn't. Uh, oh, okay. All right. I, I should check it out. Number 367. What Marion yes. I didn't know a title she was a title. A title. It's I thought it was a total thing. A total day. Yeah. It's another See? word for that. I mean, it's a, 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 and it was one of different. our business committee persons that you mean a total? And I, I didn't know that. I never tried to decipher that name. Okay. But how is it? Uh, Let's see. Let me go to 228. And I've heard about Duke Poor Buffalo. I don't know how. Yeah. Pot pot or poor buffalo. Okay, and two twenty eight right here, but it doesn't have a spelling. Asa. Asa. Mm, Asa. No I always wondered what Spencer Asa's last name meant. It sounds like caring sound. There's red buffalo. That's why that 369 is ASA. It's the one with the flags. Danguru Red Robin. Danguru Red Robin. Now, what I found out about the spelling right here, whoever spelling it is on the left side, that's in the hyphens. If there's an A-H, it's pronounced ah, 
but if there's just an A with nothing after it, it's it's pronounced A. Which which number are you looking at? So say for instance, like two twenty eight. Which number? To two twenty eight. Oh, oh, two twenty eight. So okay, this A first day is A, but the second one is A ah, because it has an H after it. So if you we know, go to. But there's no read, a, and you can also refer to a buffalo as the goddle in it, goddle oh. goodle. Oh. Yes. That's the other word for both of Two twenty-eight Asa James. And then we go to three sixty. This is A S A. Oh, I was going to ask on oh, that one. Gonna, uh, it does have a. It does have a, a name. It's A S A S A C Cool. Ah. Uh, What's to ask about? Um, three sixty-nine. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So it's I, I different it's, than it's different than Asa. Oh, it's a whole different name. Yeah, Asa. And then there's another one. Her name was Ehapedonma. And then there's another word, Ema And I was told when I was little that Ehapedonma was when they didn't have any children and their people were going on a war path. They'd say, capture me a cute little boy. You know, like that, a little baby. When oh. if they lost a child or something. And this woman's name is Ahap Edonma. That was a, a little story uh, in a story. The word for Shane is Shonha. Shonha. And say to me. I think I heard my name just a second ago when somebody had a question. See. Asa, they used to call my mother's uh, father that. Oh, Asa. But his name was Paul Osa. Sounds like he split a buffalo. Cut a buffalo. With a knife. Now that finally made sense to me when he said that, when he translated it like that. <laughs> I knew what sa means, and I know what call is knife, but I didn't put it together until you said that. He, uh, he stabbed a buffalo. Oh, cut it. He's butchering it. <laughs> It's all gets on me. I could look at those for days. It's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess we went over time, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, did everybody that could get it off, was there anybody not able to uh, not able to download that that was uh, that doesn't have a copy? Because I know most of the board should have a like a, a hard copy. Hmm. If you don't have one, I'll, I can deliver it to you because I still have a few left. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to print it here pretty soon. Yeah, but anybody else that has that uh, has it, you can go ahead and download it from right there. Um, let me go ahead and put it on again because I think people who move back in here probably can't see it, so I'll give them a few seconds to download it, but if you look in the direct message, it should be a folder showing up. It's a uh, it's a uh, Adobe, uh, Adobe Acro Acrobat. It's uh, if you download it, it'll have that Kiowa family registry from uh, 1900, 
and it's kind of reorganized and uh, Parker reorganized it and put it into a, a order where you see all the families and everything. And then he did some writing and uh, wrote it in in his the original style that he wrote uh, wrote it if he knew what the word how it was pronounced. But uh, uh, you can go ahead and download that. I'll stick around for a few more minutes afterwards. But I guess we can close because I forgot I was supposed to end at eight. So um, I guess if we can ask. Uh, uh, Mrs. Eisenberger, do you think you can uh, close us out? Uh, <clears throat> uh, dog, dog, e dog, a uh, beggar dog, e a moy dog, e a 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 dog, he died more my dog. He go day on day. Um, day on the key tie your dog. He go. I'm paid on. He died to your dog. He go. Day who tape go be tied or the dog. He died at the. He told you. He told you to dog. He go. But give my eye be tied. I'm paid on. Tied at the. Obey good, I got it. They told you to unpay the top. We're on the corner, get Sunday to a dog. He got um, whole doggy daughter. I got combo, be good. They talk so late. Go, I got it. Be tired, or it. I got it. Obey good, okay. Sunday to unpay the talk. They own day. Thank you for thy grace, thy mercy, thy. Love and compassion, thy healing power, Lord, thy forgiveness. Thank you for all that you do for us, thy, the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us. We thank you, our Creator, dog. Day hunde yan om da dog. E go day hunde yan hai ge da. No tain don ge go pay ge don ge yan hai ge da. Day on day da tsai ge get da de an be ta hal gong da. E an get ta om an get to ge om. They own the um, I thought get taints of our dog. And thank you for thy grace, Heavenly Father. They hunt the dog, Yanom dog, Almighty God, the creator of all things. We just thank you and praise you for everything that you do for us. Bless those who are in mourning at this time, dog. Make good on dog. Bless them, the families, keep them strong. We're just so grateful that you, you. Have love and compassion for us, and you feel under corn belt by the gong dog. You know, I hold a yan on my dog. I hold over her. Hi, guys. Thank you. Papa Oi Banta. I'm a good Banta. Oh. So because, I'm going to stick around if anybody's still downloading, so I'll be on here for another 10 minutes. You guys can keep uh, Aunt Mary Lou, Seely, in your prayers, please. She's going to go through some uh, procedure tomorrow, I think, but I might give her a call here. They'll keep a tide. Oh. Oh. Hi, Aunt Velma. Love oh. you. Love you too. Nelson. Nelson. Hunde. Oh, I'm Boyonda. Oh, oh Boyonda. Day on day. Oh, day on day. Ah, ah, so I'm told ya. I'm obey told ya, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I went to uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, and I'm still trying to recuperate. It's too long, getting too old to be driving all night. <laughs> oh, my. I'm well, glad you made it home.